Hello everyone, welcome to Great Online Training. This is Naidu. I'm a SaaS trainer and programmer. In this video, I'm going to explain SaaS Certified Specialist Practice Question number 12. I already covered a few questions earlier. I'm just attaching it here in my card. So you just click on that link and you can be able to get uh, the complete playlist of all the certification questions and if you are new to my channel please subscribe and click on the bell button for a latest updates and at the end of the video if you really like it please uh, like my video and uh, write any comments or maybe you can ask some questions also related to your certification exam or career or anything i'll reply back to you as soon as possible so let's get started. So this is the question you carefully observe data darts is your data set there we have a family ID name and income and we have some observations and family income two is another data set there we have some observations. The data just getting, uh, getting sorted by family ID wise and we are merging it. Now, based on this particular question, before you run this particular program, we need to know that uh, what will be the answer. Actually, whatever the question I'm just asking in my next slide that you have to apply here. Okay, so the next slide is talking about how many observations in my final data set how many observations in final data set when if a uh, when how many observations are in final data set when if b how many observations are in final data set if a and b how many observations are in final data set if a equal to b how many observations are in final data set if a and not b and how many observations in final data set if B and not A. Guys, all the questions are important. May they mainly, if you know the concept of uh, in equal to A, in equal to B concept, uh, like that how to create a logical variable and so that uh, how to use it, uh, this question is very simple for you. Otherwise, uh, it's uh, very difficult. So let's uh, get solve all these questions which is there in this particular question number 12 and we have some sub questions around seven questions we have it one by one we will clear it for that what i'll do is let me just open my SAS software before that what i'll do is i'll just copy this particular programs onto my SAS. I'm just pasting it here. So all the code is just pasted here. Now I just uh, pasted it. So first of all, let me run this particular data set. Check that is there any errors? No errors. Everything is smooth. Even run the second data set also. Two data sets it just got created. Okay. Now what we do is we'll try running the second things also so here this is the actual questions we need to implement here paste it here okay so now i'm just sorting the data two data sets i'm just sorting it it's done so there is no issues and now i'm just merging it for the first question what we will do is i'll not insert anything here i'll remove it and i'll try to execute it so I'm sorting the data based on the family ID wise in both the uh, data sets wise. I'm creating a new data set as a dad and fam. The new data sets will be there in your libraries and work library. The data is there. That data set is there and fam data set is there. That data set you have five observations and fam data set you have four observations in the data. Okay, check it. Yes, that's correct. Now, when I try to merge the both data sets, so when I try to run it and execute it, uh, you will get the output as a merging of both data sets. Uh, the total observations is going to be six. You will get it because you see that family ID one, two, three is the common between the both data sets and four is there uh, from you just see it here. Uh, 
uh, the 4 is there here uh, that is your family ID 5 and 6 is there in my data set of your dot data set fam data set you have it uh, um, only 4 so here according to the family ID wise when you are merging it uh, you don't have a family ID is uh, for your second data set of your income only family ID 5 and 6 is present in first data set so second data set that information is not there however according to the first question you can see it here let me copy all these questions so that now I can answer these questions in SAS itself let me paste it this particular question the first question is going to be how many observations we have in the final data set it is going to be how many observations in your log you are getting it here total six observation even in your data set also you just open your final data set and in the final data set you have six observation the first question answer is going to be six observations you will get it so six observations you will write it here the first question answer the second question is how many observations in final data set if a actually we need to implement this particular if a concept exactly here if you write it if a that means what happen it will be with only from your left side data set this is called left join okay so in this left join what happen all the data values which is there in the left side you will get it and apart from that whatever is right side it will match it and now you can execute it and run it and now you can see that all the left side values in your data set as five observations you will get it right now if you go there and check it in your all the left side data set values you are getting it and right side whatever is matching you will get it otherwise you will get the missing so that you will get the answer as a five because in my final data set uh, you just uh, see it here you close everything and try to you don't need to open the data sets each and every time again because uh, what happens you know uh, it will take some time and it will consume your time also in real time when you are doing a certification exam try to stick to your log itself how many observations we got it only five observations in this and uh, here and how many observations in final data set when if B if I'm writing if B so that what happened you execute it and run the program that means all the values which is in B which are matching with A you will get it the values which are very specific to the B only you will get it now and you can see it now I think four observations you are getting it here check it so it is going to be all the observations which is there in the B you are getting it and now I want it if A and and B also actually I need the observations in A also that means the data values which is there in A also I need the observations which is there in B also I need A and B combined together how many observations in this case if I run the program if I combine together now you can see that only the three observations which is there in the first data set as a family IDs of 1 2 3 is present in my second data set as a 1 2 3 but rest all is not matching with one data set to another data set the common between the both data sets is going to be you will get it as a uh, three you will get it as an answer in this if a equal uh, a and b if i'm writing instead of that you can write it a equal to b if in this case if i run the program it's the same a and b also a equal to b also it's the same meaning and once you execute it still three if a and b also are a equal to b it's the same then you will get here also the observations is going to be three you will get it if a and not b the observations which is specific to the a and those observations should not be present in b how many observations like that i'm writing it if a and not b i'm writing it execute it and run it the all values which is present in a but not present in b so how many observations like that only two observation five and six which is present in only a but there is no data for that particular uh, patients or students information in my second data set how many observations like that two observations like that so the answer is going to be two here and how many observations it if b and not a the observations which is present in b i want it but not present in a so in this case in this case if I run the program and execute it and you will get it uh, observations present in B but not A only one observation that is your family ID 4 is there in your second data set but that data information is not there in my first data set so the answer is going to be uh, you will get it as a 1 
so this is a, a different question so when you are doing a merging merging is a very important topic for your certification exam be focused and try to understand right now i have executed the program in front so that no it's easy for you so that how many observations you are getting and how many variables you are getting it and all it's a bit easy but when somebody is asking a question directly without telling anything without they have given they have not given any software and they have given a data to you and they are asking you to answer this question without having see instead of this as a uh, as a multiple uh, sorry uh, instead of a, a practice based exam if it is a multiple choice questions they have a different answers like a, a b c d as a different answer and you don't have a software you need to answer it uh, then how you really answering it is actually matters so you need to have a good grip on how many observations in first data set how many observations in second data set what variable you are using for merging while you are merging it uh, while you creating a logical variable as a n equal to a n equal to b and how you are using if a equal to r if b equal to and if a and if b or if a and not equal to b or if b not equal to a something like that these are all really matters uh, in your real time and as well as your certification exam it's a very important concept uh, in real time merging so we have to be uh, more careful so that's it that's all about my question number 12 and thank you for watching i'm going to upload a few more videos in uh, upcoming days be subscribe and hit like and if you have any questions or maybe if you are interested to uh, to learn some new concept or something like that please write it in the comment section i'll explain that until then thank you i'll meet you in the next video bye